Welcome back to a mind test modding tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at how to create craft items. So for starters, we need a code editor and then we can start writing code. So a craft item is fairly simple, fairly similar to a node as well. Um, I don't remember, I believe, I should have really checked, I believe I'm doing new mod, uh, we're just going to use example because we're making an example craft item, square braces, then all we need is a description which equals example and we need an inventory image which um man i don't know what's gonna be available to me so i'm just going to use default underscore dirt dot png because that should be available um and that's really it that we need so let's go ahead and jump into mind test all right so here we are mind test loaded up we have our mod loaded in so just searching for example we get our craft item um, we don't have a recipe for it at all and I evidently don't have give so that's that's kind of great well, let's let's try it out here we go all right so we now have some craft items um, as you can see craft items can't be placed you probably already knew that um, and so this would be the most the most simple and the most basic of implementations of a craft item where you would then use this in a craft recipe, hence its name of a craft item, to craft something else. But there is a lot more that we can do, so let's jump back to our code. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and add some groups to this. Um, and this will let us use it in a craft recipes. So we're going to add a group of tree equals one. Um, let's do sand equals one. And let's do um, trying to think what else do we have? Oh, wood. Wood equals one. Okay. We'll save that and we will jump back into my test. All right. So pulling up unified inventory again here, pulling up our example item we can see there's still no recipes to create it, but it can be used in 23 different recipes. So we can use it to make all of these different wooden items because it's in group wood. Um, oh, here we go. We can cook it into glass because it's in group sand. Someplace, I thought, is it not called group tree? Shouldn't we be able to turn this? Oh, no, wait, because it doesn't do group tree to turn into wood because it's each specific. That's why. All right, but wait, there is, oh, also we could do this. We could then search for group tree and it'll show up under the group. And we could also, of course, do group sand and we could do group wood as well. And it'll show in all of those because it's in those groups. But wait, there's more. All right, so our craft items can be used. And what I mean by that is there is an unuse callback that is available. So we can do, if I knew how to spell, um, let's just start with something easy like my test item eat, and we'll have it restore five health. Um, yeah. So we can do that, we'll save it, and we will jump back into mine test. All right, so I've uh, been hanging out in the water a little while to take some damage. And now let's uh, swim out of the water and eat some of this example craft item. And you can see it restores our health, so that's handy. But wait, but wait, there's more. Let's jump back to our code and look at the final thing we can do. Okay, so when I said final thing, I, ki I kind of lied. Um, it's not only the final thing we can do, it's the final thing that I'm going to do in this example. So we can create a function 
uh, unused function and then we pass this item stack we do user and pointed thing are all available to us so then we can do something like local HP equals user get HP so we now have the local of the user's health points and then we can do something like user set HP and we can do HP uh, times two so that would double the user's health points um, but we could also do something along the lines of there's a half dozen different things we could do we can it, we can do more than just eating um, because we have the pointed thing variable here we can get a location of what you're pointing at with the item or because we have a player in user let's actually do this let's do local position user get position pos for short okay so now we have a I should put an equal sign in there so this will actually execute so now we have a position variable that's available to us so we could do something like um, oh I don't know my test set node POS name equals default dirt I really hope I did that right uh, that might not be correct I think this actually needs to mean in a curly brace man I hope that's right and then um, so we do those things we want to make sure if we're using a function like this that we do something along these lines and what this is doing whoops what this is doing is making sure that the item is taken so with the on use function here, we are getting our players health points. We are setting health points multiplied by two. Then we are getting the player's position. Hopefully this is the right code right here, setting a default dirt block where the player's at. Then we're taking one item. And then when we return the item stack, that is just returning our count minus one. So actually let's go ahead and change that to four. And then we just close it out with an end to end the function. And let's jump back into my test and see if it crashes. All right, so I just gave myself 99 of these. All right, that for the most part seems to be working just fine. So we have we have huge benefits here. Oh, I forgot I was taking 99, so I went through that. All right, was taking four, so I went through my stack of 99 very quickly. But as you can see. Every time we used the craft item, a dirt block was placed. Now there's no check in this example code. So like when I was first standing here, I just kept putting a dirt block inside of the dirt block because it wasn't checking if there was already a dirt block there. Um, if you wanted to do that, you would just check if that node was air and then place a node, but you know, whatever. And it took four items for every one we placed so we didn't get a very tall tower um, and of course we could have let me jump back to the code here that's gonna be like the one bad edit because i didn't think far enough ahead of course we could um change it so we were taking um 99 items so if you had a full stack now i'm not sure what happens if you have less than 99 items in your stack because if you're taking 99 but you only have 20, theoretically you now have negative 79. I'm not sure how the engine handles that. Um, so you would probably want to do a check first to make sure there was actually 99 items if you were going to take the full stack. But we're taking one. If you take out the these two lines right here, um, basically you'll just never run out of this item. So you can keep using it and placing these dirt blocks and doubling your health to the max. But 
you'll never actually use the example craft item that you're holding which is why you want to have this little bit of code in here so that that doesn't happen but i guess if you're making something that you want to be able to do that then you just don't put this and it's kind of like you're in creative so that is essentially craft items um, obviously to create a craft for them it's the same as making a craft for anything else you just have your output of whatever the craft item name is and uh yeah that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up hopefully this helped you i forgot if i mentioned in the beginning of this video this video was requested by nathaniel so here you go hopefully this answers whatever questions you had tune in next time for another video and i will see you then